Ready? Welcome to Monster Palooza in Pasadena, California. What a wonderful establishment. Welcome to Monster Palooza. <laughs> what up? It's your tall guy with Evan this time. You guys behind me, we're at Monster Palooza. It's our first time, my first time here actually. Surprisingly, it's the 15th year anniversary of Monster Palooza. It's a Halloween convention in June, the very first day in June. Uh, what can we expect? Vendors, cosplays, panels, you name it. Enough wasting time here. Let's head on inside. If you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to drop your talk. I'll like, comment down below and subscribe, right? Yes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's head on inside. So walking into Monster Palooza, all of the meet and greets and celebrities are to the left and right of the halls. And inside of the convention center is where you'll find all the vendors. So let's uh, let's do some exploring. It's my first time here. I'm excited. Damn. David Howard, Art the Clown, the Terrifier. That's crazy. Damian Leon, director, sitting here for autographs and photo ops. Amazing. Oh, Giancarlo. What? <laughs> Yo. Sorry. That is wild. Let's take a stroll down the exhibit hall. Let's see what we got going on. Always love checking out the immortal mask they got going on. Very realistic. Crazy props this year. Oh my god, look at this one. You guys may recognize some of these masks because the immortal mask does do some of the characters for Halloween Horror Nights. Speaking of the jester from last year, the toy section, this is actually the mask they created for him. Crazy silicone texture. And just to throw a rumor out there for you guys, rumor has it that a Luchadora's scare zone might come to Halloween Horror Nights. The speculation map, and here are some of the masks that they have. I don't know, it's all just speculation and rumor, but if so, I wouldn't be surprised to see these masks come to the event. Just food for thought. You guys know I love showcasing my vendors here at Monster Palooza. Hi guys. The magic oil box, you guys. Amazing horror aroma therapy. Bring it to us. What do you have this year? Uh, so uh, what I do is I create custom aromatherapy blends that are inspired after scary movies and characters within the movie. Uh, so I've got my room sprays, roller blends, hand sanitizer sprays, and then I've got my brand new chemical-free Bates Motel shower steamers. So these are amazing to take a shower with, open up the sinuses, wake you up. It's a great way to start your day. You just gotta, you just gotta point and shoot. Really? Is this a thing? You know, all the masks in the back. All right, so we just got a sick autograph and a picture with Douglas Tate, the one and only. Dude, he remembered us from last year at Midsummer Scream. It was crazy because, funny story, after Midsummer Scream, we headed over to a Chili's, right? And this guy just randomly needed to throw up in the bush, so I took him outside, he, needed, he threw up, and then Douglas Taylor was just sitting on the bench and goes, you guys all right? And we're like, holy shit, what's up, man? And he remembered us. No. Hey, sorry to put you on the spot. No, on the spot. <laughs> That's fine. But hey, we got the autograph. That's Mission accomplished for me. Check it out guys, McGee effects. These are also the guys who do a lot of the work for Halloween Horror Nights. That looks too real. I cannot. Look at this, they're all here to party. El Bone. We got the La La Pucci. I, I probably butchered that, I'm sorry. Larry freaking Larva. <laughs> Look at that, they even got a uh, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. That's sick. The Phantom. The Phantom 2? Oh Leprechaun. my god. Very cool, thank you. Ain't no way we're running into the hitchhiking ghost at Monster Palooza. This is sick. The junior guys 
got the like Ar it. Art the Clown autograph. Yeah. We oh, that is a sick one. I like that 3D effect. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, so this is my brother Faker. He died last year. Yeah. I thought I. All right, people. All right, people. Luis Pena, stay terrified. I love that. Dude. <laughs> HHN win. Win. <laughs> Next year, hopefully. Next year, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Godzilla or Kong? We <laughs> going for Godzilla all day. All day. Godzilla all day, bro. We're still out here exploring the showrooms and all the vendors they got going on. As far as shows goes, there's not too many to offer at Monster Blues. I gotta watch my step because I'm about to step on Godzilla's tail. <laughs> But um, they got a few shows going out, but it's nothing like theme park panels or anything related. But it's pretty big here. It's pretty big. There's a lot to look at. What do you think so far? Good. W so far. W so far. W's in the chat. Thank you, Chris. All right, so we got the hand from Talk To Me. This this man here is offering signatures on the hand. Am I going to be cursed, sir? Uh, if you do the... If you hold it. If I hold it, huh? It's a risk I'm willing to take. Let's see. Let's see. We'll do... Hmm. hmm. So, cow, tall guy. Alrighty, there it is. Yeah, if you want to take photos of it or anything, I'll just get a quick shot of it. But that is sick. I would not hold the tan though. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're about to check out this museum that they got over here at Monster Palooza. Ballroom A. Don't know what's inside. No. But I'm excited. A horror museum. Hey Evan, check out the thrilling transformation of. Michael Jackson under a full moon. <laughs> Wanna play, Evan? <laughs> and remember these, Evan? Do you remember Hard Nights last year? Had to step outside real quick to get this photo off. Check, check out this pen away. <laughs> what is your Instagram? Do you have an Instagram? Oh uh, yeah, it's ostrich stealth. Yeah, you'll see my you'll see my face when you type it in. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, checking out Freak Show Goolsville. I actually saw something that I really want to purchase. It's like a coaster holder, but with Frankenstein's hand in the middle. I'll let the vendor demonstrate, but not me. If you could just demonstrate that one more time, I would appreciate that. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want the Frank. Any ghost fans out there? Sick cosplay. Alrighty, so we just got out of the Alien uh, presentation. Have you seen the movies? Uh, no. You haven't seen the movies? Hey, you gotta put it on the watch list. They're great. They're really great. One guy asked during the panel, is Alien a horror action adventure or action adventure with horror elements? You let me know in the comments. I think it's a horror film. Pretty scary. Can't, see, can't wait to see the new movie coming out though. But, with that being said, we have about an hour left, let's find some more creepy monsters. Just go on the show floor and just have a good time before we end up the vlog. No, no, no way, don't tell me. Is that who I think it is? I don't like that. I only know one person that does this from Fright Fest. Oh, yeah. She lives. <laughs> May I ask for the vlog, what is your name? I'm Paris. Paris, can you shake my hand in character? <laughs> there it is. Michael, come home. Come home, Michael. Please? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, hey, take, hey, take this guy. Whoa, 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 take this guy. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Relax, relax. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate you. I don't want to set the world 
world on fire. Except this guy. <laughs> we, we built like this practical so that we're able to um, interact with the actors. It's crazy. We had to design something that was uh, very large at the scale they wanted, but then also um, something that could accommodate and swallow a person. You know? Yeah. So we built we built a section that was probably from nose till about here. And then we uh, fabricated the interior out of a foam. So we made it so it was pretty durable, but yet soft. So even like the teeth, they were all soft foam teeth. Right. And so they were able to shove an actor in there as far as they wanted to go and then take them out. It's crazy that thing was practical. Wow. It was fun, yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, great. That, I, I, love, I love to see that they're still doing practical yeah. effects on sets, you know? It's true. Instead of going straight CGI. Yep. Was, I mean, I, I know, I was really happy to get that. I know the character by nature is, you know, it's a CGI kind of character. It's so big, it does so much. It's in the water, it's, in, you know. But it's fine that they, I'm glad that they didn't just say, oh, just make it all visual effects. You know? Yeah. Let's try to approach it with certain things. And I feel like more and more, that's what we're trying to do. It's like, Good. don't don't just pass it all off to visual effects right away. Let's figure out some practicality of it yeah. and figure out a plan that we can do uh, just different you know, different aspects of it. You know, yeah. And look at it and break it apart and do something uh, that's, that makes sense. Brian got the best photo up in the house with <laughs> the actual actor that plays the Terrifier, Art the Clown, with Damien Leon director of the films damn dude what a <laughs> moment what a moment man it was awesome it was awesome what a moment. you guys that is gonna do it for the vlog at monster palooza i got godzilla right next to me anyway guys if you guys haven't done so already drop your tall guy like comment down below subscribe if you haven't already yo cash this tall guy godzilla at the next uh convention we are out of here goodbye <laughs>